communism, ideology, class, utopia. I'm Peter Kennedy. I'm the artist of the work behind me. That work is called A Language of the Dead. The work uses neon light. It's an intense blue called midnight blue. These words are big words. They represent in a substantial way the thoughts of half the population of the world, I would suggest, in relation to their experience or people's experience uh, during the 20th century. They were a motivating force for people to take all kinds of social actions, uh, often that led for the better. However, they now represent a moment which exists in the past, and that, I think, is what makes this work historically important. That is, it acts as a kind of public memory for a moment that affected the lives of just about everybody at the time. Progressive, collective, bourgeoisie, the masses. These words, which are the words of a language of the dead, these words, I think, tended to fade somewhat. And the way that they're rendered in this work is as cloud-like shapes, or alternatively, have been eviscerated or excavated or hollowed out so that what we are now left with are the resonant contours of a dream of social change of a particular type. Having decided on the font or uh, typefaces, I then set about uh, drawing those up and uh, at that point it was a case of laying them out uh, in various uh, arrangements so that I could come up with the best possible composition. And so the spatial uh, aspect is absolutely crucial. I would move uh, one word a millimetre here and another word a millimetre or two there and I would open up the space uh, between the bottom line and the three lines above so that uh, there was a sense of uh, levitation. These layouts were then handed to somebody who is referred to as a glass bender, not a glass blower, and then uh, all the uh, cabling would be put in and the connections would be made to the electrodes which are at the end of the various glass sections and uh, that would be that. The big moment was when it's turned on and we see it in all its glory. When I first uh, began to work in neon it was 1970 and at that time I was mainly painting and drawing uh, as were almost all the other artists in Australia at that point. Uh, I was also at that time uh, designing neon signs at a company called Claude Neon in Sydney and it occurred to me uh, some years earlier, I think probably after 1965, between 1965 and 1970 through reading art magazines that somehow or other um, uh, the visual culture in Australia was rather limited. We had painting and we had sculpture, but there was no real sense of uh, a concerted effort to uh, uh, mix media. When I did my first neon exhibition at Gallery A in Sydney in 1970, there were two firsts connected with that. The first being that this was the first neon show that had ever occurred in Australia. And the second uh, was uh, bound up in the title of the work, which was Neon Light Installations. And this was the first time publicly the word installation was used. Alienation, socialism, revolution, imperialism, and these quotation marks that sit below all of the words. And it's from these quotation marks that the words are released and float upwards. Mm -hmm.